5, the diagram on the right shows a square A, B, C, D with a side of 4 cm. So we see here square, so every side is 4 cm. So we know that this one is also 4 cm. Okay, so this one AB 4 cm, AD 4 cm. So PQ is an arc from a circle with center C. So we know this one is an arc, center C. So it's given that the radius is 5. Find PCQ in degree. So how to calculate PCQ in degree? So we see here, we know that this side is 90 degree. So we, we don't have much information to calculate directly from this one. But we can see that we have triangle here, right? So we have this triangle here where this one is 4 and this one is 5. So you can find angle here using trigo. So trigo we have so cha toa. So here, if we take out this triangle, so the angle is here, so you have 4 here and you have 5 here. So we know this one is adjacent and this one is hypotenuse. So the formula with adjacent and hypotenuse, adjacent and hypotenuse is cos. So we know that cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So we know that theta is equal to cos inverse, adjacent is 4, hypotenuse is 5. So we get... 36 degree 52 minute. So here we have so for A, so QCD is equal to 36 degree 52 minute. So we have this angle here. So if we find angle here, then we can take 90 degree minus this one, minus this one. This one is theta 1, this one is theta 2. So we can get what is the angle in the middle here. So for this one, if we take out the triangle here, so we have 5 here, so you see here this one is P, this one is C, and then we have CB is 4, this one is the angle, we have 4 CM. So this one is 4 here, so we know that 4 is side, this one, 4 is adjacent, and then 5 is hypotenuse. Which is the same with this one. So we have that. So this one is theta is equal to 36 degree 52 minute. So this one PCB. So PCB is also equal to 36 degree 52 minute. Because we see here adjacent and hypotenuse. So we are using cosine. So you, again cosine 4 over 5. So you will get 36 degree 52 minute. So here. Angle PC, PCQ is equal to 90 degree because we know the total theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 here is 90 degree. So 90 minus 2 times 36 degree, 52 minute. So here we will get, so here we get 16 degree, 16 minute. So here we get 16 degree, 16 minute. B, the perimeter of the shaded region APQ in CM. So, we see here the perimeter of the shaded region. So, perimeter is equal to RPQ plus AQ plus AP. So, first, so we need to find these three to get what is the perimeter of the shaded region. So, we know S is equal to R theta. R is equal to radius theta. So, we know the theta already which is equal to Okay. Before that, theta is to be in radian. So, we have the one in degree. So, we have to convert to radian. So, 16 degree, 16 minute. To convert to radian, we divide with 180. So, this one would be 1.5. So, here we get 0.2839 radian. So, we can calculate RPQ. So, radius is equal to 5. And theta is equal to 0 0.2839. So here we get 1.42 cm. So we have this one is 1.42 cm. So now we need to find what is a q. So we know we can use Pythagoras theorem. So we know this one is 4. And we know this one is 5. So we can find q d. So here q d is equal to so, 5 square minus 4 square, so we get 3. So, we know this one is 3, so we know that this one is 1. 
So this one is equal with this one. This one is 3. This one is 1. So this is 1. This is 1. So perimeter is equal to R is 1.42 plus AQ is 1 cm plus AP is 1 cm. So here we get 3.42 cm. So here theta is equal to 0 0.2839 radian. So see the area of shaded region A, B, Q in CM. So we see here the area of shaded region. Okay, so how to calculate this one? So you can get by C. First you can get by the square. So you can minus the two triangle. So this one is a triangle and this one is a triangle. So minus two triangle. So we see this one is the same size. And then you can minus the area of this sector. So area of square is so 4 square, 4 times 4 minus area of triangle. So triangle, you see here, this one is, so you know this one is 4 and this one is 3. So area of triangle is equal to half time 3 time 4. Right, okay. And then minus area of sector. So we have to find area of sector. So area of sector is equal to half r square theta. So r is the radius. So radius is 5 and theta we know 1, 0 0.2839. So here half r is 5 square. Theta is 0 0.2839. So here we get 3.55 centimeter square. So here we get area of the sector is 3.55. So here we get, so this one is here, so 16 minus 12 minus 3.55. So we get 0 0.45 centimeter square.